Hey, Kiss Town, it's Miss Candy. Hope you guys are all doing well and somewhat enjoying your extended school break that's going to be going on here. But uh, Pastor Lindsay and I just want you to know we miss you guys so much. We, um, you know, we're used to seeing you guys a couple times a week and and just all of a sudden not been able to see you and, and hug you and just hear your voices and see how your day's going. It's just kind of gotten really weird for us. So um, we are just going to try something new here, parents. And we're going to kind of come on every other day, maybe every day, but um, at least every other day with a new scripture and a video, a Bible story to watch. And um, a couple other things we'll be challenging the kids with, but we just really want to stay connected over this time that we have social distancing. And uh, so we want to stay more connected through the um, social media, the platform that we have that we, for us, have not really taken advantage of. And so we're kind of going to just try to do that. So parents, if you will, there's two things that I really want to talk to you about today that are going to help us over these next couple of weeks to really stay connected with your children. And um, the first thing I would like for you guys to do is that uh, your kids in Kids Church or in Kids Town, they are, um, through the years that we've been with them, when we show a Bible story, we have just always shown them a story most of the time from the application or from the series called Superbook. Now, Superbook is from years ago when our kids, when our kids were little, but the animation and the storytelling and the technology of those have come so far since then. So, a couple of years ago, they remade the whole series, and uh, we would love for you to go online on your desktop or your laptop or your iPad and uh, log in and create a free registration uh, for your family. Now, here's the thing. Superbook is now a free registration for the first two seasons. So, I think that's about 20-something uh, free Bible story videos, um, and that's just the beginning of what you get for free all together on there. The third season is something that you have to pay for, but it's not very, very much for the whole season if you decide to go ahead and do that, but we're not asking anybody to purchase anything right now. We're just really excited that Superbook is offering this free registration at this time. So what you're going to do is go to superbook.cbn.com. So again, that is superbook.cbn.com. And there's a couple of things that you can do um, after you create your registration. Now, if you don't have a laptop or a desktop computer or an iPad, uh, it's great because you can do it from your cell phones. Well, I say your cell phone. And so a lot of kids have cell phones these days. So if they have a cell phone, we want them to do this on their cell phone. If not, we would love for you to do it on yours. Like I said, this is the only way we could figure out how to really share um, quality stories and activities, games, and things we want to do with the kids over the next couple of weeks. And so Superbook, um, it's a little app. You can go to free apps, and my parents are calling me, but we're going to, um, I told them I was going to be busy for a few minutes. But anyway, we're going to go to this little icon right here. Can you see that? It's like a little Jesus app. <laughs> Jesus icon. But anyway, the app is called Superbook Kids Bible. So don't get confused if there's a couple other super books out there. Um, but this one's called Super Book Kids Bible app. Once you um, download that app, uh, there's so many awesome things that the kids can do from this app. So if you can see here, I know the words are going to be backwards. But this is the first thing that's going to pop up uh, from the app on the screen. Now, when you do it from your laptop um, or your desktop or your iPad, uh, there's a whole lot more things that they can do from creating their own avatar uh, to look kind of like them. They take one of the characters and get to dress it up different ways. Um, they get to personalize. That's also where they'll see um, the badges and the points that they earn because you see, Every time they play a game, read one of the Bible stories, uh, memorize one of the verses, even watch one of the videos, uh, there's several things for them to do. Uh, every time they do that, the kids actually earn points, and then that way they um, can earn badges. Now, you say, what's the big deal about earning points or earning badges or, or whatever they can do through this program? 
well, what's really cool is that uh, Superbook does monthly giveaways of some kind. Um, sometimes it for their really big prizes, it might go longer than that. But uh, the really big prize that they're giving away right now is an Xbox One, which is super cool. And there's the way that you get entered into that is that you have to like memorize your scriptures or just stay on the app and stay involved. And, and really, it's all about getting more of the word into the kids and, um, and just, you know, kind of rewarding them for that. So there's there's a lot of prizes that they can be registered for, but you'll see that you'll need to be able to do that again from a um, your desktop computer, iPad, or laptop. But outside of that, the app for your kids just to get on at any time is super cool. And so the first one says uh, the Bible. Then there's another one that says want to know God. That one's all about salvation on their level. So uh, we always tell their kids there's no junior Holy Spirit. But a lot of times we just need to be able to speak to them in their language. So that really breaks down the salvation message. Uh, this is really cool. If you click on the click, sorry, on the games. There's so many different games for the kids to play. Again, uh, these all, I mean, they earn points, badges, uh, but that's just really cool for them to do. Um, then there's videos, Bibles, Q&A. Oh, I really like this one. This one's called Bible Profiles. And so these guys come up, or not just guys, but all guys and girls, um, or men and women from the Bible, whatever it may be, they can just kind of scroll through here, click on a profile, and then that profile, um, with the one I just clicked on just now, was of Isaac. It tells you more about Isaac, where you can find him in the Bible. Um, sometimes it gives you short video clips and just um, information about that Bible profile. So not only are they listening and watching Bible stories, but at any time they can go on and learn a um, character in the Bible, which is super cool. And uh, But what the two things that we'll be doing regularly will be the video portion and what we call the daily quest. Now here, the daily quest is the Bible verses, okay? And so each day, a different Bible verse is posted, and we want to challenge your kids to memorize that verse. It's not super long, um, and once they memorize that verse, we would love for them to... Um, Send us a quick video through whether Facebook on our instant on our PMs, our private messenger, or Instagram, and we'll talk about that in just a second. So we would love for them to stay in contact with us, contact with us that way. Really short to send us a video of them um, saying the memory verse. Now, kids, you can't get you ain't can't you can't out slick the slickster. Okay, Miss Candy knows. And Pastor Lindsay knows if you are uh, reading that scripture verse because your eyeballs will be moving like this uh, because somebody's holding up a piece of paper behind the camera and you're reading it off. Really, homie? We gonna know. So we want you to memorize the verse. Now, here's the thing. Girls, you memorize the verse. Boys, you memorize the verse. Guess who's going to get points? During this time that we're not in Kids Church, you will be earning points still for your team. We do Boys Against Girls in Kids Church, and um, we have a time period that at, at the end of those couple of months, we're doing... Um, we do different things. Last time, um, I got a pie in the face. The time before that, I can't remember what it was. But this time, we're doing a free pizza party. Now, everybody gets to come to the pizza party, okay? Uh, the, all the boys, all the girls, of course, get to come to the pizza party. Not the parents. Not the parents. The kids, okay? Y'all ain't freeloading, okay? It's the kids party. <laughs> But anyway, um, all the kids get to come to the pizza party, and but the free part of it is normally we, uh, if the boys win, they all get to come for free. They don't have to pay anything, and the girls would have to pay like two dollars each, but or vice versa. If the girls win, we need the girls to win this time because we lost last time, and I got that big old fat homie pie in my face. Pizza pie. Y'all see the pictures Pictures on Instagram or Facebook. But if the girls win, then, of course, the boys come to the pizza party as well, too, but the boys would have to pay, like, $2. But, outside of that, whatever the winning team is, you're going to get a really big prize each. I'm not talking about five pieces of candy, okay? I'm talking about a really big prize 
each. So one for the boy, each boy, if the boys win, or for the girls, one for each girl, okay? So we um, are excited about that, but we're not going to tell you what the prizes are. So really quick, after you, um, we're going to go back to the app and today's uh, scripture verse, memory verse, big word, but Superbook calls it the daily quest. And our quest for today is this scripture, okay? It's Matthew 21, 22. And this is what it says. You can pray for anything, for anything. Let's say that again. Matthew 21, 22. You can pray for anything. And if you have faith, you will receive it. Okay? So Matthew 21, dot, dot, 22. That you can pray for anything. And if you have faith, you will receive it. Now, kids, let's be realistic here, okay? We can't blow the scripture all out of proportion. Don't be praying for no unicorn or $15 million to show up on your front porch tomorrow or for all of a sudden your dog to be a cat. Okay, we can't. Mm -mm, no, homie G. It don't work like that, okay? You got to pray for anything that's according to the Word of God, according to His will. So, you know, ask your parents about that. Parents kind of explain that scripture a little bit more to them. Um, you know, Pastor Lindsay and I can do our part, but you're with them 24-7 right now. And we're just coming to them through a video chat. So, uh, explain to them what it means to be praying um, and asking according to the will of God and what His will may be. And if you don't know His will, then you pray for that. Um, but then also the Word shows us that. So, we want to have faith and especially in times like this that are going on. Faith and not fear. Okay. So that's the big word. Now, once you memorize that um, big word or what we call the daily quest to the app, I want you to send that to us through Facebook or Instagram. Now, parents, I'm going to log off of this right quick because yesterday we created an Instagram page and I take me a little bit longer to find it here. Here we go. Of course, if you don't have Instagram, parents, you need to create Instagram, okay? And uh, and that's funny because I follow Superbook on our Kids Town Instagram page. And, and that's the first thing that popped up. And they were telling us how to pray. Pray for China as well. Nations all over the world. But um, go to our Instagram, okay? And that's going to be NVM Kids Town. So that stands for New Vision Ministries Kids Town. You got to follow us, okay? Follow kids. Follow us. Tell your friends to follow us. Because a lot of your friends may not have churches they go to. and they, Or maybe they have a church and doesn't have a kids church. So either way, we're not trying to pull from anybody else. We just want to get out there um, about your children's ministry at New Vision Ministries. So NVM Kids Town. You'll go ahead and see on there where we've already posted uh, photos from just over the last you know, seven or eight months, a lot of things that we've been doing, and uh, like us, okay? Now, kids, as you know, it's very easy to slide into our DMs, right, which is our direct messaging through um, Instagram, and that is going to be the easiest way for you to send us uh, your scripture verse that you've, memor you've mem memorized for today, um, I'm not used to calling it Daily Quest, but the Daily Quest memory verse, when you memorize that, DM, us, DM that to us, and because that's going to be less than 30 seconds long. Um, if you do that, I know that I can save that and post it to our Insta story so that everybody can see what you have memorized. Um, outside of that, if you just want to share an encouraging word or if you just want to say something to your friends and you want it on our Insta story um, that would encourage them, uh, a prayer request or a praise report. You know, we got to stick together, kids. So we want you to send that to us. Uh, it's easier to do it through um, our DMs on Instagram. But parents, if you don't have that app or you don't download that, however, most of you have Facebook. So send it to our private messaging. We'll try to somehow get that connected to where the other kids could see praise reports and prayer requests and um, just really, you know, sticking together in this time of need as well. Um, but what's really cool I don't think I told you the story that we want you guys to go watch. So I'm going to go back to Superbook. After you have downloaded the app, created your profile for free, okay, um, you can either watch it from your computer, your desktop, or your app. I need you to go back and uh, after you've seen the, the memory verse for today, we want to click on the section that says videos, 
Oh, that's not videos. <laughs> right here, it says videos. So that's on the main um, desktop as well as the app. Then click on what says Superbook. There's several different things, but you want to click on the very top one. And then these are your different seasons that you can watch. But we need you to go ahead and go to season two. And what we want the kids to start off with all together watching the same thing. Not that they can't go ahead and watch the, you know, other ones that they may want to watch. Um, but we're going to start off with Paul and the Shipwreck, okay? So then um, I would love for them to somehow be able to watch Paul and the Shipwreck today or tomorrow. Um, and probably tomorrow afternoon I'll come back with a video. And we're going to do question and answers uh, or a question sheet about that and then have your kids uh, Instagram us the answers um, the answers to our DM or to send us the answers on Facebook through private messaging or even emailing us so remember I want you to click on the videos and go to Paul and the shipwreck and then um, after you've done that parents one more thing we need your email address so if you will please send me your email through Facebook uh, messaging if you don't want anybody else to know that if you have my phone number just text it to me but we're going to create a kids town email um, group messaging so that that way we can send out sheets that you can print off and then have your kids fill out that first sheet is going to be from the story today which is Paul and the Shipwreck, and it is a coloring page that the kids can do. We'd love for them to color that, take a picture of that, and then send it back to us through Facebook Messenger or through Instagram, and then we want to post that, okay? So whatever they do, I want to make sure they keep these, don't throw them away, because uh, we want to keep those for um, Kids Town so that when we get back together, we can kind of hang them up and let everybody see what um, people have been doing, what the kids have been doing over these couple of weeks or however long it takes for us to have a little break here. So don't forget, you got three things actually to do, parents, okay? So you've got to go, first of all, to superbook.cbn.com, okay? You want to uh, register for free so that you can get on the same page with us for Kids Town and what we're doing. The second thing, um, of course, is download the app to your phone, and those are two in one, okay? The second thing is we want you to go follow us on Instagram at NVM Kids Town, okay, so that we can connect really easy with the kids. And then the third thing, thing please send me your email, okay? Send us your email. So uh, we're really excited, and we're just going to see what's going to happen, and uh, kids, don't hesitate to send Pastor Lindsay and I your prayer request. We will uh, pray over those each day um, for you guys and just let you know we're here we're in this together and uh, I saw a friend of mine posted today that um, what was it it was something really cool but it was about uh, oh it was about the comeback is always better than the setback so we've got to remember that the comeback that's ahead is always better and greater than the setback that we may be in right now so be encouraged today, and um, I'm just praying for you to have peace. I'm going to pray real quick. Father, we just thank you for the kids. We thank you for the opportunity to be children's pastors here at New Vision Ministries, and we pray for all the other children's pastors, God, that are out there. Um, they're all over the world, Lord, and um, we pray for Lord, Lord for you just to give them wisdom in this time of what to do and how to reach their children and their communities um, when we can't see them and hug them and talk to them face to face. Father, we thank you for the internet and the social media uh, that we have this platform and that it'll be used for your glory uh, in a time that is of hardship, that uh, your good will come out of that. And like our pastor said today, that all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and that put him first. So Father, we pray that during this time, uh, the living room revival is what we're believing it's going to be. The living room revival that we will put you first. That uh, we won't be afraid to be called to repentance. That God, you search our hearts and you search our minds, God. And that you show us, Lord, our true identities in you, Jesus Christ. Um, this time that we begin to slow down. Lord, that we find who we are in you and that we 
trust in you no matter how big of the battle that that may be just realizing who you've created us to be not what the world tells us to be but what you tell us to be that we will not be corralled into the theology of what the world might be telling us to be pulling us one way or the other that Good things are not always God things. And so, Father, we ask for you to reveal to us, reveal to the kids what the God things are for their lives. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this time together. And I thank you for these children. Pastor Lindsay thanks you. Thanks you for these children that we have a, the privilege of being able to pour into at our age. <laughs> and I thank you, Father, for this time. And we just thank you. Um, Lord, you are a good, good, good God and a good, good Father. And we love you. And all the kids... And that means anybody, because y'all know I'm just a kid. I tell people all the time, I'm a four-year-old trapped in a 40-something-year-old body, and that's okay. But all the kids say amen. All right, we love you guys, and uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.